So we are here with Bob Edwards, the hop coach. So I wanted you to talk a little bit. How did you become the hop coach, and what hop is for the companies that are starting over in this process? Please. Right. Well, the way I got involved in hop actually was when I worked for a big company, and they brought in Dr. Todd Conklin to talk about sort of a new way to look at safety. So I got started in this in safety, and it's based on five key principles. Right. The fact that people make mistakes, blame fixes nothing. Sort of context drives behavior. Learning and improving is vital to our organization. And then how we respond when something happens or respond to information matters. So those key five principles became really interesting to me. And uh, I started doing a lot of work in my own business with this. Well, not my business, but the company I work for. After a bit of doing this, and we started realizing, wow, this opens up the conversation more. We started doing learning teams, which is a replacement for a lot of our investigation approaches, to where we bring people together and collaborate with them. We started seeing, wow, people are opening up more when we aren't focused on who did it and we're more focused on sort of how did it happen? Uh, what are the issues, right? We started in safety and that's how I started, but then very quickly this moved into quality, operational upsets, maintenance. This hop, the five principles of hop actually apply to about everything. Okay, we see a few people just talking about hop worldwide and we don't see a lot of material, so books, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Could you like give us some ideas of authors and books that people interested in this mm -hmm. issue could get more information, valuable information? Absolutely. So Dr. Todd Conklin has written books, several of them. Sidney Decker Sydney. has written a bunch of books about this stuff. Uh, Eric Hollenagel, Edgar Schein, there's um, James Reason did some of the initial heavy James lifting. Reason. Yep. Um, really expensive books. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah um, it probably has to do with like they're they're not like a bestseller on a you know on a st bookstore somewhere. It's like these very specific books, and so the quanti the quantity of them is lower. So I guess maybe that drives the price. I don't know. Um, let's see who else. So then also reading things like High Velocity Edge, um, Meltdown. Um, the Tyranny of Metrics by Muller. There's like just some really good stuff out there. Uh, not a ton of stuff, but there's quite a few, there's quite a few good books out there. Okay, just to release you that you are in a hurry. Uh, could you tell us what is the fundamentals of the the hub for who is starting, and the highest level for the companies that are like developed already in this in this process, and also how much time would it take to to go to the fundamentals until a, a, a higher level in a company that has reasonable resources? That's a good question because there's it, it depends kind of on how big a company is, how much they have on their plate, right? how many other changes are going on at the same time. You can take the five principles of HOP and you can take learning teams or operational learning and you can begin to do something even locally. So some companies have done that. They said, let's take a site that's interested in trying something different and let them experiment with it. Some companies have said, we're gonna start with the board of directors, right? So they get the biggest, highest level leadership on board, and then they say, okay, now let's go make this happen in our factories. So you can do it either way, but you don't wanna forget either side of the equation. You need people in operations, they're very valuable because they know the work, they're the masters of the work. You need leadership because they're the leaders, they're the guys, yes. they're the, what guides the organization. We need them both involved in this. So I've seen, I've seen sites start locally and build it up to where they show it then to their board of directors. I've seen companies where board of directors are the first ones to hear about it. But very quickly into this, we need our leadership on board. Because if leadership's not on board, then okay. I can't really, yeah, I can't really move forward. Well, thank you. The pleasure is mine. I wish we had more time. Oh, I, you have I a lot of nice in, uh, stories to tell and even familiar stuff to, to tell us. But we are in a hurry, so have a safe trip back. All right, gotta catch that flight somewhere. Yeah, we're hoping to see you <laughs> bye again. Bye. And uh, yeah, thank you.